People use their credit cards multiple times a day to pay for things like groceries, clothes, and gas. But when John Bird was recently trying to buy gas with his prepaid American Express card, he was met with an unfamiliar message. It said unable to authorize. John's card had been preloaded with more than $5,000. But when John got online to check why the card had been declined, he says he was shocked. It had a zero balance. Somebody had drained his account. This is the list of fraudulent charges. John's American Express statement shows that the identity thief worked quickly. Within 36 hours, the crook walked into nine different stores from Sandy to Layton and Park City. All that thievery worked up an appetite. He or she or they decided to pop into this Sandy McDonald's and bought themselves a $12.49 lunch on John. In a day and a half, $5,300 was gone. Still, John says he was not too worried. After all, he had chosen American Express, he says, because of their widely advertised fraud protection. 100% confident that I would have the money back within a day or two. John called the Sandy City Police Department, which checked surveillance video from several of the stores. And cops identified this guy, this guy who was clearly not John, as the person who was using a copy of John's card. And with all that evidence, John asked American Express to reimburse the money that had been stolen. They denied my claim for no reason and closed my account. That's right. In an email, American Express told John, based upon our investigation, we have determined that no error occurred and that transactions in question were authorized. The letter goes on to say, quote, you have the right to review any documents we may have relied upon in making our determination. So John says he requested those documents. They said they have no information, no documents that they used to make the decision. Frustrated, John asked the Sandy police to call American Express to give them a copy of the surveillance video. They contacted the American Express law enforcement division. They said that the person they talked to was confused and didn't know why they were calling. Furious and wondering how American Express can ignore evidence that he is the victim of fraud, John asked me to investigate. You have a suspect. We do have an individual in this uh, case that we're looking to identify. Sergeant Dean Carriger with Sandy Police confirmed they believe John is a victim of identity theft. Do you think that's the person who used a credit card illegally? Uh, right now he is suspected in doing so. Carriger says he is as confused as John as to why American Express is blaming the victim for the charges. Backed by the service and security of American Express. American Express certainly has boasted about their fraud protection services. The website does not mince words. Card lost or stolen? You're protected against fraudulent purchases. So why isn't John covered by those guarantees? American Express will not say. John is currently suing the credit card company to try and recover his $5,300, and American Express says they do not comment on legal issues. Still, this entire situation raises an interesting question. How is it that John's credit card, which is still in his wallet, was able to be copied and used by a crook? The technology certainly does exist. A quick search on the internet shows that credit card duplicators are easy to find and buy. This prints the ink directly right onto the plastic. There are even videos online that show step-by-step -step how to make your own card. It's such a vast area that these uh, credit card numbers are being uh, gathered from. They move about, they're bought, they're sold. And in many cases, it is not a single criminal, it's organized crime. As for John, he remains out the $5,300 that both he and cops say was stolen from him, and he is hoping that a judge will help urge American Express to make him whole.